Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Canada's immigration ministry is being accused of purposely refusing visa to French-speaking African students. The Standing Committee on Citizenship and Immigration found that Canada's immigration process could be ridden with bias and racial prejudice. In 2021, the rejection rate for visa for French-speaking African students was close to 70%. A processing software used by the ministry called Chinook was also targeted by the group. Several organizations and immigration advocates are calling out the process in place which they say lead to systemic racism. Obviously, it's not right to be discriminated against. It's not right when there is systemic racism in place to push you down so that you don't progress in life. That is all bad and we disagree with all that Canada is doing to this student, this African students to be specific. So my thing is whenever I see this kind of stories, of course, I empathize with the students that want to go and study and that are being rejected. Like imagine the study showed that over 70% of them get rejected when they're trying to go and study as opposed to other students. They can just go to Canada and get their education. It's just unfortunate and it's, it's sad to be honest. But at the same time, me, I like to look at it as a blessing in disguise because we have so much potential here. We do not need to immigrate somewhere for them to teach us. Let's build our own schools. Let's build schools that actually attract students from neighboring countries. Let's work on that. Let's build our own. For me, I like to look at it that way. I know it's easier said than done. I know there are so many opportunities, maybe in Canada, in US or the UK. I get that part. But at the same time, if we, this generation, says no to immigrating, says no to trying to find a place to live outside of our country, who's going to stay to build it? That's how I look at it. So as much as it might be hard for us, for this generation, with everything that is going on with our leaders, with the puppeteers going crazy, manipulating our politics, for the economy declining, the inflation, all the things we're going through, I understand, right? I do get it. But if we don't break this cycle, us, at this point, then what's going to happen to the next generation and the next and the next? So somebody has to sacrifice. So at this point in time, I believe we have to be the ones to sacrifice. Yes, it's gonna be hard, but it's gonna be worth it in my opinion. So if they're rejecting 70% of African students, okay then, fine. Let's build our own. Let's focus on the ones we have. It's not like we don't have any. We do have great and prestigious universities. It's just that we're manipulated. We're programmed into thinking that theirs is better. No, it's not, okay? If anything, nowadays the universities are filled with professors that are trying to indoctrinate the kids and make them think the same way. That's not what we need to focus on. We need to focus on developing our own talents and skills and trying to build a better Africa, not just for us, but the diaspora community to come and actually be a strong empire that we once were. So I'm sorry that they're doing that and it's not right, but let's use this as an opportunity. That's my thought on that. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are. I am on Gilzel Alam. I'll see you on the next one. Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but well, this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya.